is a type of medicine that trains your body to fight any foreign agent. Plants are helpful for the ecosystem. It's an electronic device for storing and processing data. The nervous system is all the collection of nerves in your body. Yeast is a eukaryote. Welcome to Spectacular Science, where it's all about science, with your host, Akshay. Hey listeners, welcome back to this episode of Spectacular Science. I'm your host, Akshay. I'm really excited for this episode because I'm actually going into space! Wow, this is going to be really fun. Have you ever wondered about asteroids in the asteroid belt? Well, you may think that asteroids are just giant pieces of rock floating in space, but there is so much more to them. There are even specific types of asteroids. And in this episode, you're going to be traveling to space with me to figure out what asteroids really are and the main types of asteroids. Come on, get your space suit and all space snacks ready because we're going on a long interstellar road trip to the asteroid belt. Okay, just gotta get strapped into the rocket. Be right back. Whew, finally, I got strapped into the rocket. Okay, now it's time for the countdown. Ten! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift off! Whoa, this is a really bumpy ride. Oh, we're finally out into space. Oh, this is really shaking me up. Oh, hold on. We're approaching the asteroid belt. Whoa, it's really... Oh, it's shaking me up. Whoa. Oh, I can see it finally. We're approaching it again. Oh. And... Oh, finally, we have reached the asteroid belt. How are you feeling, listeners? Great. Now, let's just shake it off. Oh, that travel was, was very, 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 very rough. But we got here in one piece, finally. Oh, let's just take a breather. Okay, I'm all good now. So let's get right into it. Okay, let me just open the window on the rocket. Wait, these blinds are stuck. Hold on. Oh, come on, blinds! Come on! I want to see the asteroid belt! Oh, finally. Oh, I don't know why they put blinds in this rocket ship. Whoa, look at the asteroid belt! What, but I don't see any rocks flying towards the spaceship like in the movies. Wait, the asteroid belt is really spaced out. Each of these rocks are more than, like, 10 miles apart from each other. The asteroid belt is so big, it stretches around the sun between Mars and Jupiter. And since the rocks are all spaced out, they're not all together and coming at you like you see in some space movies. So, this is real life. Now, there are actually some types of asteroids in the asteroid belt. They're not just pieces of rock floating into space. They actually have subcategories, which means they're different types of asteroids. And they're all based on the composition or what the asteroid is made out of. The three main types of asteroids are C, S, and M type asteroids. Those are the categories of their composition. Now let's start off with C type asteroids. The C stands for carbon. These types of asteroids are mostly made out of carbon. That's the same element that makes up life. They're also the most common type of asteroid, meaning that if we look out the window and try to spot most of the asteroids, maybe most of the asteroids will probably be C-type asteroids. The next 
The next type is S-type asteroids. The S stands for stony or silicates. These asteroids are made out of nickel, iron, and magnesium silicates or stony material. Now, these are basically the classic asteroids that you see, large chunks of rock floating into space. And lastly, we have M-type asteroids. The M stands for metallic. These asteroids are made up of many types of metals, such as iron and nickel. And those are the three main types of asteroids. Now that we know the three main types of asteroids, how did asteroids get in our solar system in the first place? How were asteroids formed? Well, billions of years ago, the solar system was just a little baby solar system with a few planets and an ever-growing sun. The sun was still a baby at that stage, but the planets had already, already stopped forming. And there were some leftover pieces that were too small, enough, too small to become planets. And some of it is just debris from the sun forming. And that all debris and leftovers that was left... Well, that is what the asteroids are. In fact, asteroids can also be some failed planets, which means that they were trying to become planets, but they were too small to have a really strong gravitational pull. That's how asteroids were formed billions of years ago when our solar system was still forming. And the asteroids that we see out in space... Those asteroids in the asteroid belt may have actually brought life to Earth. And so did comets, as we know in some of our earlier episodes. Asteroids may have brought some of the elements needed for life, such as the carbon from these C-type asteroids. And they may even brought water in the form of ice to Earth. Scientists are still searching for more evidence to find out if asteroids are really the source of our existence and the source of life on Earth. That's amazing. Wow. Maybe I should explore the asteroid belt a lot more before going home. It seems like a really, really, really big place. Well, before I go exploring out here, what did we learn today? We learned that asteroids are large chunks of rock and metal floating in space. They may have been failed planets that were trying to form, or just debris from the formation of the sun and the planets. Asteroids are divided into three types of asteroids, and they're based on the composition or what the asteroids are made out of. The three main types are C, S, and M type asteroids. The C stands for carbon asteroids, the S stands for stony or silicate asteroids, and the M stands for metallic asteroids. Asteroids are really important and may have even brought life to Earth. Scientists are still searching for more evidence to find out for sure. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Spectacular Science. Spectacular Science is produced and hosted by me, Akshay. Our theme song is by Chayan Ramachandran, and additional music is also by Chayan Ramachandran. Special thanks to Varun Ramachandran. Please visit SpectacularSci.com, our website, where you can find interactive activities, articles, and blog posts. You can also sign up for the Spectacular Science membership, where you can get bonus episodes, activities, and the fact of the day, which is a fun science fact every day. Sign up at SpectacularSci.com slash membership. That's SpectacularSci.com slash membership. Please subscribe or follow Spectacular Science wherever you're listening right now. It could be Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or Amazon Music. Just click that follow button and you'll get lots of notifications when episodes are out and you'll also encourage me to keep making more episodes thank you so much for your support thanks for listening and we'll see you on the next episode of spectacular signs next week bye keep thinking about science